Yeah, the Brandon Queen here. Came up in P2. What'd you What'd you need on that last restart to to get to to, 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 to try to catch Connor? Um, we had a really good restart. He fired, and I was able to use the momentum on the top to stay like dead even with him, and uh, actually had him beat off of two. And you know, he got into us there, and uh, so I gave it back and got inside off of uh, four there, and. Uh, just couldn't quite complete the pass. I didn't have enough drive, uh, so congrats to him, man. But um, this is my worst track on the schedule, so it was a, a statement for us tonight to come here and, and contend for the win. Uh, feels good to be back after the hole we were in at Kenley. We, we got a lot of digging left to do, but uh, at least we proved that we're back in the hunt and can uh, contend. That's just all Lee Point performance right here. Uh, best Repair Company, bestrepair.net, leafcars.com. David West, uh, John West Racing Engines, Hitchcock Race Cars, Ernest Shocks, Folsom Fence Supply, uh, TRD and Toyota Camry. Uh, this 03 Toyota Camry was was hooked up uh, with that mid-season graphics on there. And, um, you know, second second always stinks, but uh, I'm definitely taking the positives away from tonight. Hey, congrats to y'all, bud. Yeah. Um, great race for us. That's, track, that's probably our Achilles heel. So looking forward to coming back here. I think the man above, obviously this whole – whole team right here my girlfriend nicole for all she did my spotter anthony all the boys on pit road great night all right thanks <clears throat> chad mccombe comes home third here at hickory you, the top three of you guys you had a heck of a battle trading the lead you know going from first to third kind of cycling back through what more did you need to to hold first and even second away from those two guys well i'll be honest with you. we <laughs> We, we had some crazy issues going on the first half of the race. Uh, we, we had no radio communication, and uh, we finally got it alleviated, and I think maybe maybe it was just, we, we found a radio that I could hear them on about halfway through, but prior to that, um, it kind of changed my game plan. Like I, I, can, I can manage uh, without a spotter, but it was way easier to lead the race and, and manage that than try to get back in traffic. So I ran a little harder than I wanted to run. Um, first 50, 60, 70 laps. Um, I think that could have been the difference maker, to be honest with you, but um, at the end of the day, we, we just needed a little bit more drive at the end, a little more turn at the end. I uh, had a little contact with, uh, with Connor at one point and, and knocked the toe in or out or something. So, um, But really, I'm just glad we finished, man. We just need to finish some of these races, geez. Um, that's, if we can keep doing this, then, then we're going to win some races. Right, thank you. Here at Trayton Lapsovich, came in with a top 10 finish tonight, rookie in the Cars Tour Series. Um, what was the experience out there for you tonight to start off? I mean, we had a, a great Chad Bryant racing number 77 car to, to come up there from 17th and be dabbling inside the top five there. Uh, you know, I think we had a really good car. It's just I don't think I was aggressive enough at the end. I got pushed around a little bit. And, and once I was pushing really hard, I got a little bit tight. But, uh, yeah, you know, overall, it's a good night for us. I think we got some good momentum. I, I think we're up there in the top five in points probably after tonight. So, overall, it's a good night, and we'll take it from out Jacksonville. What's been the biggest learning curve between here and what you're doing in Canada and stuff? With that success coming down here, you know, you're a talented driver, but difference in the cars and the racing stuff. So what are some of the challenges you've had to overcome? Yeah, you know, it's really adapting to the car, um, kind of just feeling out where we need to be in practice and then, how that's going to translate to the race as well. Um, kind of, you know, in the NASCAR Canada Series, I kind of knew that feel that I was looking for in practice that I needed to be good at the end of the race. And here I'm just searching for how the cars are going to swing. And then, you know, obviously feeling out how the competition around me is going to race me. I, you know, kind of tonight opened my eyes up a little bit. Um, I, I got pushed around a little bit. Maybe I just need to be a little bit more aggressive. But, uh, you know, I just, it's a learning curve for sure. Yeah, so, you know, people know, you know, know your record up there and stuff you know your your talented driver as i said before and so coming down here where people know that and recognize that what does that what does that do for you and your confidence i guess because yeah. for other people to uh think that about you and you in your rookie in this in your series you know, it, it helped for sure but uh you know like really just gotta kind of try and translate what we did in canada and bring it back to here so uh you know it's a, it's a new journey and um yeah i think after a few races I got some, some good momentum, and uh, I'm really excited about the next couple. Right. Thank you. Welcome to Race Face Digital, where you can buy, sell, collect, and trade digital MP4 racing cards of your favorite drivers. Receive a free five-card fan pack when you enroll for free at racefacedigital.com, the ultimate entertainment platform. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.